Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lost to Stand with the uh, resources and uh, workers in uh, in a republic that might be Soviet or something. Yeah, uh, right. So I've wound the uh, time forward a few months in, in game time uh, just because uh, stuff was just hanging around forever and not getting finished. So now the oil field down here at Mazina. That is Mazina, right? Uh, yeah, that's all, uh, that's all completed and it's, uh, sending oil up to here where we are, uh, uh, feeding it into the, uh, uh, refinery here, uh, which is, uh, feeding into this stuff at a slower rate than the, um, demand. Uh, that also means our uh, helicopter um, uh, construction office is no longer busy. Uh, we don't have any construction projects on the go currently. I have also gone through and paved all the roads around our original settlement here. Uh, I paid for that. I didn't uh, do the construction office business with it. Uh, so all of that stuff is paved. Uh, right. Uh, so we've done that. Um, now, uh, I think we need to look at the uh, oil refinery. Uh, we might need some more uh, workers being able to get down here. Uh, right. Why don't we just open it up to the maximum number of workers now? Uh, is I had apparently uh, reduced that in the past. And then we'll see if we, uh, if this number uh, goes up on average. Because we have a lot more people in the area that could be looking for jobs now. So uh, we can uh, clearly uh, hire more people. And that's what, and clearly that is happening. Uh, so our production will go up. And these things will uh, catch up a little bit more. Uh, we're going to probably draw this down. Uh, but we've got more in input uh, 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 capacity there. Uh, so uh, now we can uh, produce, uh, we're going to produce more uh, output there. Uh, yeah, so we've clearly got enough people here that we can uh, almost fully staff it. So uh, we've definitely got uh, lots of, uh, of uh, support there. Uh, so we've also got our shopping stuff is working. All of our stuff here should be working. Uh, right. Uh, so these things, fuel is going up. Bitumen is doing its thing. Okay, so we should be fine there. So all this stuff just can tick along. We also have uh, crops in our field that are uh, growing, right? So we're going to get a harvest, uh, and then we'll be, you'll be able to see the uh, distribution office here go crazy, and these guys uh, fill up, right? Uh, what I'm going to do now is, uh, what have we got here? That's the farm. Uh, what I'm going to do is set up uh, the operation. It's going to use the crops now, right? Now, we got a million uh, rubles in the bank here. So we can uh, build pretty much anything we want. Um, now, what I'm pondering is whether I want to export uh, uh, my uh, pr product from the, uh, the uh, crops. It's going to be alcohol. If I want to export it to NATO for dollars and i'm thinking i might and that uh that means i'm gonna want uh some sort of a road to this uh um vul vulcanidani area well that is not gonna stand that's gonna be nato chums yeah so we're going to send it, you see, uh, we've got a road and rail here, right? I'm just going to build a road. Now let's uh, grab the grid. 
and we're going to grab a paved road and I am going to build this with rubles because we have plenty of rubles to build it with. So that means uh, we're going to need to come down like this. Uh, I'm going to build a road down something like this. Now, where are we coming from here? Now, we got to go further. Uh, okay, it's coming down there. Okay, so we'll bring a road out along this grid line uh, to about here, right? And then we can bring a road down that grid line to here. Okay, that will get us our road connection up to the uh, up to the customs post there. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, so we've got, uh, that will need to be built. Uh, it will, it will build pretty quickly. Now over here, I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to put the, well, let's just go and look at, no, we're going to look in here and this is going to be, um, various industry. No. Uh, food related? Yeah, alcohol. Distillery, that's what we need. So a distillery uh, wants uh, an input from something. Yeah, it wants an input from something. I could stick it in here and then it could take input from one of the silos, but no. Uh, I'm actually going to put it, I'm going to put it on this side and I'm going to put it like this. Uh, yeah, this gets us in range of power. So we'll put it there. Yeah. And we're also going to, we're going to build this stuff with rubles. Um, uh, and then we're going to get a, uh, warehouse. Uh, which is going to go like um, this. E no, we're, we're going to put it like, no. We're going to put it like this. So we're going to put a warehouse here, right? That's going to collect the alcohol, right? And then we're going to need a road uh, to it. Yeah. So if we put a road here like that, and I'm also going to grab a road, uh, road cargo station. Um, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, we'll put the road cargo station exactly there. Yep. That's a redundant uh, thingy. Uh, and this will be the drop off and pick up point. Uh, we're going to do the export uh, through the cargo station, I think. Uh, are we going to do the building without power supply? Okay. Uh, right. Let's, uh, let's go here and sort out the power supply thing with a uh, one of these uh, we'll put it right we'll put it right here yeah we'll put it right there and then we need a power line coming from the thing there okay now do we want to go underground? We don't need to go underground. Okay, so we'll go overground. I think we can go overground anyway. So we need to go to here and then to here, then to here, 
and then across like that and then down to there well almost like i planned it well i didn't uh right uh get rid of the grid okay now that's got uh power here yep uh power here okay now uh we're going to need uh some crop drop-offs uh to the uh uh this distillery thing now i think i can run two or three trucks and drop them off directly here um and then i can uh, do the uh export from here uh, i think so uh, let's go in here and we're going to uh we're going to say no crops uh, no chemicals, no fabric, we'll allow alcohol, no food, no clothes. Yeah, none of that. None of that business. None of that business. And none of that business. So I'll be able to have 325 tons of alcohol in there. Yeah, so that'll give us a buffer for exporting if our trucks take too long right so i'm going to set up a line between here and here well and here yeah and then i'm going to set up a uh, export here so uh, that means i'm going to need to go down to my uh, road depot because i might as well use the existing road depot which is here right uh, okay uh, we'll go back up here, right? Uh, we're going to need to buy with uh, rubles. We're going to need a uh, covered hull, uh, total capacity. Uh, I think we can go for, well, this one does 9.6. This one does 10. Yeah, we'll go with the T138. Uh, we're going to run three of them. Yep. Okay. Uh, and that is going to go, uh, it's going to go, uh, here to here. And this is going to be, uh, it's going to wait until unloaded crops. And this is going to load crops. Now, do I, do I make it wait? If I got three trucks, I could end up with three of them waiting there. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that's an interesting potential conundrum, isn't it? Not really. Uh, what I can do then is, uh, if... Yeah, yeah, I'll do wait until loaded. As long as there's only three, there's four slots in the loading thing there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four slots. So as long as there's an open slot, we can deliver crops into there, right? So we'll do that. Uh, or I could have one truck going from each of the... Well, that'd be interesting. I have one truck going from each of the silos. Yeah, I could do that if it bottlenecks. Right. Okay. Yeah, that would definitely work. Uh, I'm obviously going to need to bring people up here as well. And that's going to be part of this process. Um, right. Okay. Uh, view the line. This is going to be uh, farm chums crops, right? Farm chums crop supply. Um, no, farm chums, alcohol, no, distillery. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, accept the changes. Yeah. Okay. Now we will go here and we will do this, this, that's already on there. Good. Uh, we will, uh, launch the trucks yeah okay so those ones are good 
Uh, right. Now we're going to need a bunch of trucks to export, right? Uh, now, uh, is it the covered hull for alcohol as well? Um, alcohol, 6.5 ton. It is. Now this does 70. This does 62. That does 80, but only carries 4.5. Yeah, and that does 6, and that does 6.5. Um, yeah, these guys will do. We'll run six of them initially. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so we'll do a new stop, which will be here, right? And then we'll do a new stop. We're going to export for dollars. Because we're going to need dollars at some point to buy stuff from the uh, uh, from those guys. We're going to wait until unloaded here, and we're going to wait until loaded here, and we're going to load alcohol, right? Uh, and then we're going to load alcohol there. Yeah, unload. Okay. Now we do this, and this is going to be. NATO chums alcohol export. Yes. Okay. Save the changes. Now we can go ahead and do this. Yeah. Okay. No. What are you? That's okay. That's different. Okay. So we're going to do this, 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 and this. Okay. We have launched those. Good. Now we're going to go over here uh, and we'll take a look. Uh, now here we need workers. Uh, now, uh, we could potentially bring workers up by bus. Uh, we actually have uh, enough of a road here that we could do that. Uh, I think that is what I'm going to do initially here. Okay. Well, that means I am going to do some uh, road adjustments here. Uh, we're going to run a road across like this. And it's going to go across like this. Um, yeah, we spent rubles for that that we didn't need to. Uh, okay. Good. Why don't we just uh, upgrade this with the uh, stuff there. And then this can come out like that. Okay, good. Now, I want to see here... What's our walking range? Uh, walking range is okay. So uh, we can definitely grab some uh, workers there with some micro buses. Uh, so I'm going to need uh, up here. Ultimately, we'll build a town up here, uh, probably. But we're going to need a uh, bus stop, right? So if we come in here bus stop. We can stick a bus stop right in here. Yeah? Yeah, we can stick a bus stop in there. Uh, right? Nope. Road. Uh, we can do this. And we can do this. Yeah. We probably want a gas station too gas station. Can we fit one right here? We can. We'll just stick one right there. Okay, now this here. No, this here, fuel. Okay, this here. That's crop collectors. This here, technical services. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go down here to our fuel distributors, wherever they are here 
and we're going to uh, add a new connection here. Okay, good. Now, if we do this, unemployment's too high, traffic jam. Uh, right, so if we do that, now we need to get from here, uh, we need, uh, how many workers do we need up here in the thing? Uh, quite a few, as many as we can shove up there, I guess. Uh, okay. So we're going to buy a mechanism. It's going to be a bus, uh, total capacity. Uh, well, what about speed? Yeah, let's go with the speed. That does 90, carries 7, 7, 8, 7, 40, and does 85. Let's uh, grab four. Let's grab six of those. Uh, that's too many, but we're going to do that anyway. We're going to do a new stop down here, and we're going to do a uh, drop off here. Yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, that should be uh, this. It'll be uh, farm chums worker supply. Uh, can we turn that on now? Yeah. And then uh, save that. And then we're going to apply that to here, here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, close that. Launch these. Okay. So that's going to get us a bunch of workers up there. Uh, but it's not going to do us any good until the harvest starts, uh, which should be starting real soon now. Yeah, it should be starting real soon now. Now here, we're going to, no, we're going to go over here and we're going to disallow workers in the fields. Why are we doing that? Uh, because we don't want the fields to siphon off the workers from the uh, distillery. Yeah, uh, it would be bad if that happened. Okay, so the distillery has workers. Right, that's the exports. Uh, that's not going to do anything. Uh, right, okay. Uh, here. Uh, no workers. Right, here. No workers. Yeah. Here, no workers. Right here, no workers. Yeah. Here, no workers. So if you're uh, watching this and you you were wondering how you uh, uh, prevent uh, something like a field that doesn't actually need workers from gutting your uh, worker supply, that's how you do it. You just reduce the number of workers allowed. Okay, now here we've got fuel in our gas station. That's good. <clears throat> and we will be having, uh, with, once, with that uh, bus line spread out, uh, we should be getting uh, a steady supply of workers into there. Fire extinguished. Okay, right. Now... Um, Yeah. Um, 
Hmm. We now have uh, some time. Okay, we should be just about getting ready to harvest. Uh, right. Just about finished growing. Uh, and it should be just about time to harvest. And that should... Uh, unemployment too high. Uh, right. Um... Okay, we've got harvesters driving to the fields. There we go. And harvesting is underway. Well, it will be. Yep, there we go. We've got uh, harvesting happening. And now our trucks from the dis distribution office are driving out. So we got chaos going. Uh, they will uh, naturally uh, collect uh, crops. Yep, definitely it's, uh, it's working. Okay. Uh, right, we've got crops headed to the thing here. Uh, right, so we've got a covered hull coming in here, comes in here, and then you are going somewhere, right? And we're coming in here where we are producing uh, alcohol at some rate, which is uh, filling up trucks over here. Right? Yep. Okay, well, this whole operation appears to be at least working, and that's. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, we're probably filling up all four of those trucks that are parked there. Uh, right. Well, we're uh, working through the crops fast as fast as we can provide them. Faster, actually. So, there's that. That's a traffic jam. Traffic jam. Yep. So we've got some time here while the harvesting occurs. Uh, it's obviously, uh, we've got a, a, a through November, I think, for harvesting. Uh, so we'll see if it finishes these fields in time. Uh, well, we can close that out. Uh, we're running at full capacity here for workers, so uh, we should be good there. Now, something we can do, ultimately, is add another distillery if our uh, crop supply starts uh, outpacing what we can actually do. Uh, I don't think it's going to, but, uh, yeah. Um, oh, what I want to check on in the uh, farm. Uh, if I was to buy a mechanism with dollars, how much is that? Oh, I've already got the Matador, right? Speed 32. Uh, harvesting. Speed 22. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, our distillery is operating. Ah, we've got some uh, exports headed out there to the uh, customs house up here. Yeah. So we're going to get some dollars coming in uh, to go with our rubles. And that will uh, certainly, uh, uh, that'll look cooler with this number going up, right? So we're going to export our vodka, I guess it is, over to the, uh, the uh, NATO people, right? Right. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Definitely. Uh, so here we go in and the dollars go up. 
Uh, right. They don't go up much, but they go up. How much is it worth for a truckload? 20... Was it 2600 uh, They need a better font here. 2600 $2, or $2,800. Yeah. Uh, so this will go up. Uh, and, uh, you know, slowly go up. And then by the time we actually need the dollars to, like, buy a blueprint or something, uh, we should have them. Uh, right. Now, I might need another agri-farm so that we can do all of the harvesting in time. Uh, because, you know, we're, we're what? Uh, a third of the way, 40% of the way through harvesting that field. And uh, we still have the... Uh, a whole other field to do so I may need another agri farm uh, and that's fine uh, if I do I'll make one uh, you know stick it over here and we should be good right but I'm not sure uh, it's an experiment you might say uh, anyway so we've got this this is going to be our alcohol operation up here unemployment too high uh, right. Uh, I should deal with that or something. Right. Um, okay. So while that ticks along, uh, in the background there, uh, let's go check in on our university. Uh, we can do some research here. We got students in the auditorium. Wow. We're, we're actually, okay. We could do some semiconductor research. Yeah, we'll do semiconductor research, get that sorted out. I think that is the last research, maybe? Maybe not. Um, anyway, that's going to tick through really fast because we've got, you know, stacks of professors. Um, right. Uh, now, students waiting for professors is not ideal, but we'll get the, uh, the research done, right? Uh, you know, that'll be done real quick there. And then we can go ahead and uh, let that go back to normal operations, right? But we're running at just about 100% capacity here, uh, at you know real capacity here at the uh, university, and that's that's kind of cool. I mean, the university uh, working out like that, you know, be be useful, right? I mean, we're 20% done the research already. Uh, yeah, uh, so semiconductors, um, what are those, pictures of transistors? Yeah, I think it is. Right, uh, that um, that will, uh, you know, third of the way done, that will get done pretty quickly. Let's just check in over here. We got lots of people working. Uh, we have uh, cleared our input here. Uh, we are... Uh, doing stuff our fuel oh our fuel uh, export thing is uh, full okay now if we go in here this is fuel exports so we'll send that one back on the export line right um, okay um, yeah, so that will increase the export uh, fuel export by uh, by about uh, a third, right? So uh, yeah, uh, we need to make sure that our uh, fuel export, like our fuel storage, doesn't fill up and back up the uh, the production, right? Uh, okay, where are we at here? More than halfway done the research. Um, uh, we're exporting a little bit more fuel, which means more cash coming in. Uh, right. Okay. So far, so good. That's doing a thing. Uh, that's running at uh, capacity, I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah, these things are going to get, takes about a month to harvest a field by the look of it. Uh, yeah, so harvesting one of these by September, uh, that seems uh, 
Appropriate. Okay. So, uh, we're up to 260k dollars. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what's in here? And we're building up a backlog while we're waiting for the uh, trucks to come back from the border where they have run out of fuel. Okay. Well, obviously, we need to uh, go in here and build a gas station, which we're going to put up. We're going to put one here. Uh, we'll put it about here. Right? And then we'll put one down here. Okay. Uh, now, what we're going to do is go and grab our fuel distributor people uh, over here uh, and see if we can assign both of those. Uh, we'll... Cannot assign more buildings. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, well, let's uh, let uh, we'll go in. Uh, where's the distribution office? It's uh, it's under here, right? Medium distribution office. Can we stick it in here? No. Can we stick it in here? Uh, we could. Maybe. Let's see if we can stick it in there and get a road to it. Uh, okay. Road. Uh, we can get a road to it. Nice. So if we go in here and we buy, uh, it's going to be uh, oil tank. Total capacity. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab that guy. Fill that up with uh, trucks. Uh, now, uh, we'll uh, close that off. Oh, we got another research here. Electronic circuits. Let's do that. Uh, right. Okay. So we can close that. And this guy, where are we picking up? Uh, we're loading at Soviet Chums Oil Fuel Loading. Soviet Chums Oil Fuel Loading. Okay. So we're going to go over here and we're going to load fuel. Uh, and we're going to do, yeah, and then we're going to drop it off here at 100%, right? And then we're going to go here, and we'll go down here, and we'll remove that, and we will do this. Go up here, yeah, and we'll add this. Right. Okay. Good. Now we can go in here and look at the uh, all related vehicles. This one. Uh, that is. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we can sell that. Okay. Now. This is uh, going to be uh, Soviet Chums Fuel Purveyors. Right, okay. Now, uh, we need to add new uh, building, and it will be this guy and this guy. And really, this guy. Okay. And then we're going to need to run a... Uh, right, we're going to need a... 
we're going to need some power infrastructure out here, right? Uh, so we're going to need a substation, which we will stick right here. Now we'll stick it right here. And we're going to need a substation up about here, right? And we're going to need some sort of a uh, medium voltage switch maybe over here. Yeah, okay. And then this can go over here and then go all the way up here. Yep. And then this one can go here. And then this can go across this way all the way across uh, here uh, up to here down here and over to here okay that gives us uh, that should give us power to these guys yep now we just need fuel to be dis delivered. Uh, do that, do that, do that, do that. Okay, now these guys are going to go and fill up with gas. And uh, that should get us uh, some exports going on. Uh, meanwhile, over here, we have some tons of alcohol that we can export, right? And we have moved on to the other fields in the middle of September. So uh, I'm hopeful that all of that stuff will uh, sort itself out. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that should, that should finish uh, before the snow flies. And then, yeah, we should be okay. Uh, meanwhile, here we have lots of crops available, so we'll be able to run through the winter for some time, uh, producing uh, this stuff here. Uh, I wonder if we need to heat this place. That's a question. Uh, right, okay. Right. Uh, traffic jam. Uh, okay, so far so good things are, are operating. Okay, good. Good. Now, our gas station, full. Uh, yep, gas station, full. We have power going out there. Yep. Good. Well, I think that's going to be enough for this episode. We've actually accomplished something unlike last time around. Um, uh, I'm not sure what the next uh, next plan is going to be, but we got enough rubles coming in. We don't need to worry about too much now. Uh, yeah, uh, so we can probably expand our farming operations quite substantially. And uh, I'm going to have to think about it, but I think this whole operation here is going to end up changing to something else. Uh, where I uh, set up a uh, massive central storage or something. I'll have to go check the workshop for uh, larger grain silos and something like that uh, so that I can build a large uh, storage uh, complex for, uh, for crops and distribute from there, uh, possibly by rail, you see. And uh, yeah, uh, that... Uh, uh, and what, what I might actually do is build that large complex attached to a central rail station. And then you, then you replace this whole operation here with uh, a rail station that just has trains parked in it. Uh, yeah, uh, that might be what I do. Uh, and maybe a couple of buffer uh, uh, silos. Uh, you know, that, that might be what I do. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. 
and that might be a, a project for another episode. But anyway, this does seem to be working. And uh, if we end up with the enough crops coming in, uh, I can export some of the stuff to the, uh, the uh, farm chums people over here as well. Uh, right. But anyway, we're exporting to the NATO people. We're building up our dollars. So when we have a use for them, we'll have them. Right. Okay. So now both of our currencies are going up. And I think that's a good place to leave things. Uh, but let's just check in on the economy tab here. So we are uh, exporting for, uh, you know, 340k rubles here and uh, 15k dollars. So uh, we're up 290k rubles here on our exports and uh, 15k here on our dollars, right? And that's um, even with uh, some uh, manpower purchasing uh, and our imports here for coal and uh, other construction materials and the other things like uh, clothes and food, right? So we're not self-sufficient yet, but uh, we can actually get there if I get uh, food production, get, get agriculture, go hard on agriculture, right? Uh, build uh, meat farming, you know, animal farms and, uh, and not animal farms like, uh, like from that uh, book, right? build animal farms and uh, yeah, more grain farming up here. Um, you know, we got lots of land here that we that is decent for farming, you know, modulo these rock outcrop thingies here, uh, which I can probably build other stuff on if I, uh, you know, infrastructure and so on. But uh, as you can see, uh, this kind of grid operation could actually work out pretty well. Like if I did another... Uh, three fields up this way and put a grid road across here then I could put a farm up here and that could handle those 12 and then we just double our crop production right uh, so uh, this we could just like copy paste basically uh, and that uh, and that gets us quite a way uh, somewhere but I think the next next up will probably be building a town somewhere up here but I'm not sure uh, it doesn't need, doesn't need to be a large town, but it's going to need various support bits. And I think perhaps we should build such a town, say, over here. And then we don't need to, to truck our workers in. I'm not sure. Uh, but just before I go, I'm going to check on here. We don't have any more research available. So, yeah, uh, we don't need to worry too much about uh, researching stuff anymore. Uh, so everything's pretty good there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's going to be all for this time. I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, so uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, or, you can, of course, you can hit dislike, you know, that, that won't hurt my feelings any. And, of course, uh, the bell thing. Yes, it may or may not give you some notifications, which you may or may not find useful. Uh, I've not got any direct experience with that, but uh, I've heard tell of it. Uh, so, you know, hit the bell or not, as you see fit. And all that said... See you back next time.